everyone, this is a tutorial for the Seven Wizards in Winter cup routine. My sixth graders and I and my high school son came up with the choreography and it starts with the basic sevens pattern. Um, this I learned from Artie Almeida from the music play workshop this summer. And uh, so there's four basic patterns in sevens. So each pattern you'll do seven counts of it. There's actually eight, but you rest on the eighth count. So the first pattern, um, and usually this is done with hands, a hands clapping pattern, but we've adapted it to the cups. So the first pattern is just straight taps on the beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you do seven counts, rest on eight, and then you'll do that again. So the pattern repeats. And then the twos, uh, so there's two motions for this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there's the threes, which is three different motions. Tap, clap, snap, tap, clap, snap, tap. And so we count to seven with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the fourth pattern is tap, cross, tap, clap, snap, clap, tap. So it's this, but you're adding the fourth pattern, the fourth element, which is the pat, cross, pat, back, okay? So that's the um, fourth pattern. So that'll look like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, Wizards in Winter, you can't do the pattern straight through um, because it just doesn't fit with the form of the song. So we've um, put in a few things to mix it up a little bit and make the patterns fit with the song. And sometimes we do the patterns in twos, like I've just shown you. And sometimes we just go straight on, do one group of seven for each and then go straight on. Sometimes we eliminate the fourth pattern. So there's a lot of variation. And so that's why I thought we should break this down section by section. Okay, the first piece is you completely do nothing for the first two phrases and you can ham that up during the performance. You'll be getting your cup ready. Um, we're still working on what we're exactly going to look like for the first two phrases. And then you'll hear when the music kicks in a little bit and then you'll start with the one pattern two times and then the two pattern two times and then there's an interlude okay so sounds like this two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven then the music it goes right with the music you'll hear that there's some big hits and so we'll cross first bump 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 Bump, 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 Okay, so any of those, there will always be, it'll go right with it. Um, and so that happens um, several times. Okay, then right after that, we go into the threes and then the fours, just like you did with the ones and twos. So each of those repeat twice. So here's the threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there's the hits. Cross, back, cross, back. The first time we did four more cross backs, but this one is a little variation. And what I'll have my students do is we've numbered off one through seven. Um, so you, there's a couple of things you could do. We've tried a couple of varieties. You could have groups separate and have hits um, on each count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or if you are short on time, have everybody count to seven and hit their cup seven times. And uh, then it's all synchronized. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And of course, there's always an eighth beat. We just leave a rest on that. So I'm gonna show you what that first bit sounds like and looks like with the music. We're resting here. First phrase, second phrase. You could be rolling up your sleeves, in your hair spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cross, cross, back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now for the next section, um, you actually need a pencil. So at the beginning, um, you'll see me, if you watch the whole video, I show you that I have my pencil and that stays behind the ear. And so at this point, we've just done cross back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we hear the music kind of revving up, a nice heavy beat. And then there's going to be this little melody over the top that sounds kind of magical. And so that's when I have my kids stand up, take their cups, they'd been on the floor, um, I have a table here for demonstration because I'm old and it's hard to get up off the floor. So uh, then they'll take their pencil out, kind of ham it up. This is my magic wand, eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you're gonna have your cup here and on the hits, bump, 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 bump. And then we really rock it and we put it above our heads and just tap the beat and rock out and make it fit with the music. You'll hear when the, when the beat stops and then back at it. One, two, three, four. And then again, the big hits. And then the music kind of calms down a little bit. You'll hear it descends. We all sit back down and then we hover with our pencil ready with our cup on the floor and I call this down up. And so we'll just hit the cup and then we'll tap the pencil on the cup when it comes back up. And let's do seven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you'll hear that um, kind of ethereal music again. That's our pencil, magic pencil music. And so now we're going to put our pencils away we show the audience, look at my magic wizard wand, and then we come back and then we put it in our ear. It's a little bit quicker, maybe a four counts to the ear. One discovery we had when we were trying to figure out different ways to use the cup, and um, obviously you can be creative with your own ways that you use the cup, but we thought my sixth graders would be all over this. So we roll the cup, and if you have the outside edge pointing, um, to the audience and then the bottom of the cup pointing to you it will roll and kind of come back like a boomerang so we do that to kind of match the music da, 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 da. and then we pick it up put it in the next hand because we found out that going the other way is a little awkward feeling and but it it could look good too one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight that's three times and it'll time out just right that you can do the hit get ready for the next cross so it'll go bump ba da 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 dum ba da 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 dum bump 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 okay I'm gonna show you that much with the music. So you're standing up. here one two three four get the cup in your hand one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight the next 
section has a lot of energy, so we are going to double time our patterns. And not only double time them, but we are eliminating the repeats. Um, we're also eliminating pattern four. So it'll look a lot like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there's actually um, extra hit. So we're going to extra hit our cup right there. So I'll show you again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we do that whole little sequence again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hit. So those two um, have an extra hit at the end. Okay, after you've done those sequences two times with the extra hit at the end of the three pattern, then we have the cross, back, cross, back, cross, back, cross, back. Now, as I was listening to this next section of the music, we're kind of getting toward the end here, I thought it would be a great chance to have my group, this is my sixth grade choir I'm working with, divide into two groups. And so we have a call and we have a response. So for the call, it's the one pattern um, with the same double time feel, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then group two will answer back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with the two pattern. And then we do that call and response three times. So it'll look like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So after that, three times, then the whole group comes back together and we do the one pattern two times, the two pattern two times, the three pattern two times, the two pattern two times, the one pattern two times. So it kind of goes through one, two, three, and then it goes backwards, three, two, one. So um, that'll look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 And that takes us to the last bit of the music. Just roll your cup. Cross. together. You've got your cup, you've got your pencil. You can kind of make a show of this at the beginning if you'd like to. <laughs> 